Hi there, trumpet players. I'm going to take you through a play along video of page seven. With exercise number 20, we are adding a new rhythm. So if you have a rhythm that looks like this, that's called a whole note, and you're going to play your sound and hold it for four full beats. If you have something that looks like this, that's a whole rest, you can picture that's the ground and you've got a hole in the ground. So a whole rest also takes up four beats and since it's a rest, you're not making sound during that time. Another way that you can picture what that whole rest looks like is it takes up the whole measure. You might remember from the previous page, we learned about half rests. Half rest will always have something else in the measure with it. A whole rest will always be all by itself. Let's go ahead and clap that rhythm from number 20. Here we go together. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, repeat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And again, just like in our last video when we had our rhythm wrap, if you'd like to pick your favorite note and play that, that would be a great exercise for good breath support, good tone, good tonguing, all of those great things. Let's go on to number 21. It has exactly the same rhythm that number 20 did, except now you're just playing specific notes. And again, there is a repeat sign as well. One, two, ready, go. All right, going on to number 22, this would be an example of a song that is a duet. What a duet means is that one person or group of people would play line A, while another person or group of people play line B at the same time. What I'm going to do on our video here is I'm going to play line A, and then I'm going to play line B. If you'd like to practice those parts along with me, that would be great. And once you master those, if you would like to play the opposite part at the same time as me playing the other part, that would be a really great idea for you to work on being independent with your part. And even if you're hearing something else, being able to do the thing that you're supposed to do at the same time. So here we go on line A. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> Now, if you were playing the opposite part as me, what you may have noticed is that while one of the parts is tonguing the other note, the other part is just holding the note, and then they switch, and then they switch, and then they switch. So it's going back and forth with who's tonguing and who's holding. Your breath mark always happens no matter what part you're doing after your long whole note. These two measures right here, one part has a little solo while the other one rests, and then they switch. And then there's a similar thing going on down here, but just a little bit faster. So that's how that one goes. Let's go on to 23. This is an example of um, a song that has a key signature in it. Now, what's a little bit weird about the trumpet part of this book is that your key signature is not telling you that any notes are changing. No notes are flat. No notes are sharp. So you're really not completely seeing what a key signature is. Uh, but there are other instruments that do have notes that are changing because of their key signature. So just watch out for that when it comes up later in the book. Right now, no notes are changing at all. This is a band karate song, so make sure that you're practicing this one a lot. Here we go. 23, 1, 2, ready, go. <laughs> Going on to 
question number 24. This is a really fun exercise that can be played with the entire group in band. Each section has a little solely part where they're playing all by themselves. So measure one is all percussion, measure two is all woodwinds, measure three is all brass. So the trumpets are only playing where it says brass or at the very end it says all. If you want to hear what that sounds like with the whole group, grab a percussionist friend, grab a woodwind friend and play that together. Or you could log on to Essential Elements Interactive and turn this accompaniment part on that says concert band. And if you click play, you'll be able to hear all of the parts and play along with your brass part. So let's try this one and we'll practice counting those rests while the other parts have their little solis. One, two, ready, go. Percussion, two, three, four. Woodwinds, two, three, four. Percussion, two, three, four. Woodwinds, two, three, four. Percussion and woodwinds. Percussion, two, three, four. Woodwinds, two, three, four. Percussion, two, three, four. Woodwinds, two, three, four. Percussion, woodwinds. And all together, that makes a really nice melody with the three parts. Going on to number 25, this is another band karate song. Nothing really new here, it's just a longer exercise. One, two, ready, go. to the last exercise on this page, number 26. This one doesn't have any bar lines in the exercise. So your job is to put in those bar lines every four beats. And I'm not gonna tell you the answers, but I am just gonna review with you the length of each of the notes and the rests. So this quarter note right here is one beat. The quarter rest is also one beat. A half note is two beats. A half rest is two beats. A whole note is four beats, and then if you had any whole rests for this song, which you don't, but if you did, those would be four beats as well. So go ahead and draw those bar lines in the appropriate places. Your teacher will check that in your lesson. Then let's go ahead and play it. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> Nice job. We'll, we'll catch you in the next video on page eight.